then you scum. Hello everybody, welcome to Six Pack Be Gone. This is my uh, first video on my YouTube channel, and uh, so welcome. And uh, the kind of the reason why I'm actually recording this thing in general is um, when I was filming this, I forgot to plug in the uh, the recorder on my uh, microphone, and so I just ended up recording it the whole thing and. Uh, but I was like, that's kind of cool. I can do actually like an auto commentary of like my video here, which is kind of like I like watching movies that way anyway. So I skipped out a lot of the stuff I talked about in the beginning, but I can actually just obviously talk about it now and experiences like with my first ice cream challenge in here and how, uh, how much I liked it. And uh, I did really like this one. It was fun. But it kind of was like in the beginning of my video, I wanted to talk about really the history of ice cream in general and um ice cream is an incredibly uh old uh dessert a lot of people think it's very new because with modern refrigeration and that really isn't the case ice cream is like um ancient uh it goes way back to like ancient rome um there's you know people that talk about Marco Polo uh, maybe have discovered it. Um, it was really the case is it's kind of like gunpowder, guys. There's no real definitive, um, no one knows who created it, really. It's just that um, it's really good, obviously. We know that. And um, nobody let it die throughout the years. I think, I think, from what I read, the first ice cream shop was actually in Paris, France. Like, way, way long ago. I couldn't even give you a date on that, like the research. But I think so. I know in the United States, the first ice cream shop in general was in uh, New York. And supposedly, George Washington spent uh, a ridiculous amount of money on, um, like, 200 bucks or something like that. It's pretty crazy, actually, how much money he spent on ice cream. He must have been doing it for, like, parties or something like that. But that's a lot of money. He could have probably bought... He could have probably bought the state of Ohio back then for, like, $200. But that was kind of the brief history I was talking about in the beginning before I started this video, before I started to consume this thing. Um, this is an incredibly great ice cream challenge to do. Um, it's um, my first, and like I said and it's amazing uh, ice cream slides down very well compared to all a lot of other food challenges um i was really nervous like i said i've done a lot of other food challenges um and this is like my first video i want really wanted to launch with but um i was really nervous just because I, i've seen a lot of ice cream in general shut down a lot of uh pretty strong eaters just because they can't handle the cold it will chill your body down um, quite rapidly and a lot of people just can't handle that in general and um, now this is the crazy part the ice cream shop that I did this at um, there was a gentleman that ate two of these Joel Hansen is his name and um, I follow him on YouTube actually he the guy is a freak eater. I um, he has got shit. You will it's never beyond see. anything I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, just extraordinary uh, food eater. Uh, he ate two of these. First one he got in eight minutes. The second one he got in seventeen minutes. Within the half an hour time frame that they actually give you with this thing, so it was pretty extraordinary to actually like. <laughs> With Joel, I'll tell you something about Joel. Joel and Brandon, the garbage disposal, they literally uh, were the first guys I came in contact with that were like, you know, do these guys, is there even a limit to what a human being can eat? Because the garbage disposal, he can breeze through ice cream challenge just like crazy too. Like it's, like I said, I, I didn't even know there was a limit to what the, um, human um body could handle with these guys and um 
they said with uh, Joel, they his stomach was just like really cold. You could feel the ice cream um, coldness through his stomach. Now I felt that through my stomach. I couldn't even imagine having two of these where I could imagine it. Um, uh, I kind of stand up here right now because it's not the best when you do food challenges. You really don't want to sit down, but there wasn't really any good kneeling position. So I just stood up to help move the ice cream around in my stomach a little bit better right there. But yeah, huge shout out to Joel and Brandon. Uh, they're some of my favorites um, in these um, food eating challenges in general. And um, so talk about the ice cream in general here, like this challenge in general. I'm here sitting here wolfing down, like watching myself and everything, doing an auto commentary. Um, this ice cream is amazing. First of all, this ice cream is homemade. Um, it's extraordinarily good. Um, it's very good ice cream. And there is a difference, guys, between eating like a really poor quality ice cream and a very good ice cream and this is very good ice cream in general now this thing comes uh which was really interesting one of the things that kind of weird that worried me about this challenge is you have to pick eight different toppings now i suppose you could have picked all the same one i didn't ask them that so i just went they have nine different toppings at in their menu and i went with um eight different ones which I was kind of like worried about because, you know, obviously they're adding weight to this thing. They're trying to make it heavier because there's three bananas actually at the bottom of this thing that are just crazy uh, down there and everything and uh, big and heavy, obviously, to add that extra weight to the thing. But the they roll these, each scoop, this is eight big ice cream scoops, and they roll those uh, scoops with those uh, toppings you pick which is actually quite wonderful it was actually in my opinion like one of the best parts of this whole thing in general uh were were those how they did that and it was made it ice cream very much better to eat i went with uh vanilla and uh what did i do it oh yeah i went with vanilla chocolate and strawberry is what i went with now you can pick any flavor and they had a bunch of them and the reason why I went with those was just um, so I could swallow it better. There wouldn't be any chunks. Looking back on it now, like if you're looking to do this, I wouldn't really worry about that. Um, considering like I, I looked at all their other ice creams, like their cookie dough and their peppermint and all their other ones. And I would actually probably went with um, the cookie doughs or the peppermints in general. And uh, just because I, well... I like strawberry. I like them all, guys. I mean, they're all great. Um, but this is my first one ice cream challenge I've ever done, period. So it's just like, how do you experience this? You know, you're going to take this much cold into your body. Um, you know, I've never experienced that. And I do get really cold here um, where it starts to cool my body down. Now, I start to actually shiver, which is really interesting later on in this video. Like, because obviously you're you've ingested a gallon of cold into you and uh, you know, your body's reacting to that, how it's going to do that. But I guess in general, um, if you, you know, it's nothing to worry about if you can handle that. It wasn't to the point where it was like real bad. I definitely wouldn't recommend doing it. Like if it's winter time or something, it's really cold. But this is San Francisco we're talking about here. So it's not like too bad in any everything. Um, but it, yeah, you do definitely get cold for sure. Like I started to get cold. Could I, I kept eating for sure. Like um, it's all just a mental game. Um, I guess what I like the best is that I didn't run out of capacity. Like I could have kept eating more ice cream in general in this challenge. So... That was something I was happy with, obviously, well, like when my first ice cream challenge was just, you know, figuring all that out and experiencing one. And this was a great one to do, one I always wanted to do. Uh, ever since I have saw it on Man vs. Food, um, obviously, I've seen Randy Santel do it. Um, a lot of people do it, obviously, in general. It's a very famous ice cream challenge. But I did ask the people in the store, I was like, you know... And they post up, you know, on their 
Facebook, you know, like the winners, they posted me up there, you know, when I finish this. And um, there are a lot of people that try it. They just can't finish it, obviously, which obviously makes sense, you know. You know, when you ingest like a gallon of ice cream or, you know, I would say definitely like when I finish this, this is really the key part of this whole thing is um, for sure, like when I stood up, I knew I had like obviously like nine pounds in me because with those bananas and everything and all the toppings and everything and the ice cream weighing about, it weighs about nine pounds. So, but it's nine pounds that slides down really easy, obviously, because it's ice cream and your mouth gets cold, but you'll notice I have a cup by me of hot water, obviously, and I don't drink from it very much. I don't like even drink the whole liquid she gave me. Uh, I didn't really need it, I guess. You know, but you you know you can drink as many as those hot cups if if you want, just in case you need them, obviously. So everything everything was good. I mean, it's a great challenge to do. It's um, it's very very fun to do, and it was quite delicious to do in general. There's another thing I would, you know, especially if you're going to do this. <laughs> so there's this, basically there's this little pan that you can see it on the top there. And you're getting to the bottom of that ice cream down there. And you definitely want to take a note with that is actually the coldest part of the ice cream is in that little dish pan down there where those bananas are. That ice cream down there. Uh, starts to get even more colder than the, the stuff on top because the stuff on top obviously has a chance to melt a little bit more but that stuff down in that lower pan was definitely noticeably colder so it's kind of like the worst for last in that kind of scenario where it's like oh boy you know like it's getting colder and it does get colder uh, so I, I thought that was really funny just how in general, that ice cream on the bottom of that pan and how cold it really was. And it was just like, whew, boy, it was definitely noticeably colder and everything. And uh, But, you know, like I said, I, I guess I don't use as much hot water as, you know, as I thought I would need or whatever. But I'd say for the most part, my bottle, body handled it pretty good. I really start to shiver here in a few, you know, because of the the cold starts to catch up with me, but, um, but you know, it, it's, it's definitely a fun challenge to do guys. And, you know, I highly recommend it. Oh, and the other perk is about this. And this is the best part about this whole thing is you don't get a t-shirt or anything like that, but I, I, I get free ice cream for a year at this ice cream parlor. Now I didn't ask him the details of that, whether I can, you know, take out tubs of ice cream, or is it just ice cream in the shop, or is it milkshakes, is it basically any form of ice cream in the shop, I forgot to ask him about this, now, obviously, I'm not from here, so I won't be able to use this, but um, if you're definitely in the San Francisco area, um, you know, and you live in that area, I mean, man, why not do it to get free ice cream for life, obviously, it's delicious ice cream, so, it's like, give it a shot, I'd say, you know, um, but I, I, and the funny part about that whole thing is, is probably the, you know, I go to their Facebook page and the majority of these people that win ice cream at, in this challenge obviously aren't from there and never use that free ice cream thing that they have. So, which isn't you know, obviously bad and they're not defaulting on that and there's no thing on their level, just a lot of people in their area obviously can't consume this thing so and get that free ice cream perk um and so but you know i did think it would be cool if you lived right by that thing and took advantage of that free ice cream for all that time <laughs> that'd be awesome you know just because i to be honest guys and this is the honest truth ice cream is my favorite dessert like of all things like there's nothing more i love than ice cream um, ice cream and cheesecake are my favorite things. Like there's just few things that can beat them in general, in my opinion. Um, 
it's just my honestly my dream job would be to be an ice cream taste tester and this is actually actually a job a lot of people don't think it is and no it's a legit job where people taste ice cream and that's what they do and uh, i was like this would be a great job at, to, to apply for i apply for like hagen does every every year but uh, i don't think i don't think they have a lot of openings which is hagen does is my favorite store-bought ice cream for sure it's a it's a very premium ice cream it's a very good ice cream obviously and uh, if you're gonna eat ice cream guys just eat the good stuff don't don't waste your, waste your time with the, the cheap stuff in general because it's just like, what is the point, you know, if you're going to enjoy this delicious dessert to just eat a really poor dessert in general? It's like, or eat a low-quality one. I can't even eat low-quality ice cream once you taste the good ice cream. And when I went in there, I was like, you know, what's the ice cream? It's all, you know, hand, handmade ice cream. You know, it's, you know, it's really good stuff. So that was a, definitely a plus to do this thing was just knowing that it was really high quality ice cream in general and you know it was just man that was, thing was good you know and there's a part of me honestly that wants to go back in there and try like you know get a better time with it or, or something like that you know now they got more experience with ice cream challenges but I guess there's ice cream challenges and other places where you know a guy can go do and which there's some other ones that have shut down a lot of strong eaters that I'd like to go try myself in general. And But no, it's just a really good experience. And anybody that really is in that area, give it a shot. It's like, if you think you can do it, it's fun. It's, it's, the only thing is, though, you got to, it's expensive, though, if you, you know, if you fail that challenge. It's over 100 bucks, guys. I didn't even ask them because... I think, you know, I was just prepared to pay whatever, but, um, and I didn't figure, I didn't come to lose. So I was like, there's no surrendering here basically, but I believe it's over a hundred bucks for the thing. But, um, Hey guys, life, life's awesome. And, you know, you know, eat lots of ice cream and why not just eat it in general and, uh, enjoy it. And, you know, who cares if you lose anyway, you know, it's fun in general picture up there and everything and um i feel like i'm really slowing down though in this oh yeah it was the cold in the bottom of that pan that really got got at me that's what it was in general yeah see <laughs> i'm just like oh yeah i'm starting to get cold now i'm starting to feel that cold hit me right now is like as i'm eating this thing and it's like oh boy it's just starting to to get to me now I, I there's a part where i just i start to shiver pretty good because it really starts to get to me but i'm almost i've almost hacked through this thing completely and uh yeah i'm starting to feel that cold in general yeah i'm starting to shiver right now a little bit but uh it's you know hey you know it's ice cream but it, i couldn't pick honestly couldn't pick a better way to shiver. I mean, if you're going to start to get cold. It might as well be full of belly full of ice cream. That's what I say, you know. It's just, uh, and that in general, I, I, I was thinking if I'm close to the point where I finish this thing or not. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah, there's one more. I mean, I'm pretty close to the to the bottom of this thing, but man, that thing was definitely cold. That ice cream on that lower pan was just, it was almost like it was kind of stuck to it in general. Yeah, see, <laughs> I'm starting to get cold. I was like, I'm starting to feel it, but I'm having a little fun with it too. A little bit of acting. There's people watching, you know what I'm saying, guys. So it's like, this is all about that kind of fun in general. And, uh, and, uh, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, see, I'm scraping the bottom of that thing right now. I think this is it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much finishing it right here. Like, the majority of it right here. Yep, cleaning up the sides and everything. Yep, I go for the bottom. Making sure I got all those 
Man, those things were delicious, guys. Those toppings, don't be afraid of those. Like I said, delicious and nutritious. I mean, just yummy toppings on the bottom. It was, it was just great in general. That's pretty much that right there. I think I got it in there. There's a pretty good scene here where I, like my arms start shaking really violently, <laughs> or something like that. Like, yeah, see, like. I think I go for a little bit of hot water here. You know, you start to a little bit of hot water in right there. I think I'm talking about how cold it is. Like, oh yeah, my stomach. And you can feel it on your stomach. I couldn't even imagine being Joel having two of these things in you. Like, yeah, I'm showing her napkins raised up. That I ate it all in general. And uh, sitting there, oh yeah, it takes a photo for the, the thing up there in general but that's <laughs> that's pretty much that guys I mean great challenge to do highly recommend it yeah see <laughs> right there I'm starting to shiver pretty good right there oh yeah yeah I was just a little bit cold there but I was able to warm up pretty quickly after it I could have kept eating but it was definitely it was definitely cold in general, like, sitting there, well, yeah, all right, guys, um, look forward to making new content, and like and subscribe. He has got shit you have never seen.